First in the spotlight tonight is Michael Clark, a charity worker from Angus. His specialist subject, Elvis Presley. Sarah Elder is a finance manager from the Isle of Man. She's answering questions on the glorious revolution of 1688. Ian Slater, a retired insurance broker from Staffordshire. His subject, Isaac Asimov's foundation novels. And Philip Isaac, a tutor from Cornwall. He's answering questions on the sitcom, Some Mothers Do Have Them. Welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. Tonight's four contenders face what is probably television's most demanding test of memory. It's not just having to remember what they've been swatting up over the past few weeks for their specialist round, but having to dig deep into their memory banks for the general knowledge round. First two minutes and then two and a half. So let's get on with it and ask our first contender to join us, please. And your name is? Michael Clark. Your occupation? Charity worker. And your chosen subject? Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley in two minutes, starting now. What is the name of the famous mansion outside Memphis that Presley bought in 1957 for just over $100,000? It's now a museum. Graceland. Yep. Who became Presley's manager in the mid-50s? His contract reputedly gave him 25% of Presley's earnings. Tom Parker? Yeah. Which gospel song that was a hit in the 1950s for the Orioles gave Presley a UK number one and a US number three hit in 65? Crying in the Chapel. Yes. Who was the Memphis DJ who interviewed a nervous teenage Presley for the Red Hot and Blue show in 54? Dewey Phillips. Yeah. At which military base in Texas did Presley begin basic training in March 58 after he was inducted into the army? Fort Hood. Yes. With which song, written by fellow rock and roll singer Carl Perkins, did Presley reach number nine in the UK charts in June 56? Blue Suede Shoes. Yep. Who was the country music guitarist who played acoustic guitar on Presley's recording of Heartbreak Hotel in January 56? Scotty Moore. Chet Atkins. Presley's induction into the US Army was deferred for 60 days to allow him to complete a film set in New Orleans. Which film? King Creole. Yeah. Presley made his final live stage appearance on the 26th of June 1977 at the Market Square Arena two months before his death. In which city? Indianapolis. Yes. Who was the lead guitarist in Presley's first backing band with a bassist, Bill Black? The three made many recordings together. That was Scotty Moore. Yep. In April 56, Presley signed a major deal with which film company? MGM. Paramount. What's the name of Presley's girlfriend who said to have found him dead at his home on the 16th of August 1977? Ginger Altman. Yes. In which 56 Civil War film, named after one of his hits, did Presley make his screen acting debut as Clint Reno? Love Me Tender. Yes. Presley sang two televised duets with Frank Sinatra in Miami on the 26th of March 1960 for a special Welcome Home Elvis edition of Sinatra's ABC television show. At which hotel? Sands. Fontainebleau. Which Presley single was based on the Italian song O Sole Mio and became a huge hit for him in 1960? It's now or never. It's now or never, absolutely. Michael Clark, no passes. You've scored 12 points. Thank you very much. And our next contender, please. And your name is? Sarah Elder. Your occupation? Finance manager. And your chosen subject? The Glorious Revolution. The Glorious Revolution. In two minutes. In the Glorious Revolution, James II and Seventh was overthrown by his daughter Mary II and her husband William of Orange. What name is generally given to the proclamation on religious toleration that James reissued on the 27th of April? 1688, and ordered to be read in all churches. Declaration of Indulgence. Yes. After the birth of James' son in June 1688, it was widely rumoured that another baby had been smuggled into the Queen's delivery room inside what? Oh, a warming pan. Yes. James fled England in December 1688 and established a court in exile at which palace near Paris? Saint-Germain-en-Laye. Yes. What was the name of the Lord Chancellor who'd presided over the bloody assizes and was captured after James fled London but died in prison before he could be tried? Jeffreys. Yes. What's the name of the act stating that James, being a professed papist, has forfeited the Scottish crown, the throne is become vacant. The Bill of Rights. The claim of right. The signatories of a letter sent to William on the 30th of June 1688, pledging support if he invaded England, are generally known by what nickname? The Immortal Seven. Yes. Who was appointed Lord Deputy of Ireland in early 1687? 
to Connell. Yes. While James was in Salisbury with his army in November 1688, he was ill for several days with what condition? Nosebleed. Yep. What was the name of the English admiral who had defected to William's side and was the nominal commander of the Dutch fleet during the invasion of England in 1688? Russell. Arthur Herbert. The conflict in Ireland ended in October 1691 when a treaty was signed in which city? Limerick. Yes. James escaped from London in December 1688. What's he said to have thrown into the Thames in an attempt to disrupt the governance of the country? The Great Seal. Yes. Who led an army of Highlanders that defeated a government army at the Battle of Killiecrankie? Clubhouse. Yes, John Graham Laird of Clubhouse. William's invasion of England was relatively bloodless, though dozens of troops were killed in a skirmish between his army and Irish dragoons in a Berkshire town in early December 1688. Which town? Reading. Yep. What was the name of the Archbishop of Canterbury who refused to officiate at the coronation of William and Mary because it would violate his oath of allegiance to James? Sancroft. Sancroft is correct. William Sancroft. Sarah, you have no passes. You have also scored 12 points. Our next contender, please. And your name is Ian Slater. Your occupation? Retired insurance broker. And your chosen subject? The foundation novels of Isaac Asimov. In two minutes, starting now, the first three books in Asimov's Foundation series chronicle the downfall of an empire that stretches from one end to the other of which galaxy? Pass. What is the name of the branch of mathematics developed by Harry Seldon that can be used to predict the future? Its development is the central theme of the Foundation series. Psychohistory. Yes, at the end of Forward the Foundation, Harry Seldon is found dead, slumped over his desk at which university? Streeling. Yep. Which major character in the series who rose from nothing and accumulated vast power uses the official title First Citizen of the Union? The Mule. Yes. What creatures described as feathered flying fortresses are traditionally hunted on an Acreon using air speedsters and needle guns? Nyak birds. Yep. Foundation and Earth begins on a planet where all memory and knowledge is shared among its flora, fauna and mineral matter. What's the planet called? Gaia. Yep. In which sector of Trantor do the inhabitants wear white or or grey robes known as kirtles when they're out in public. Harry and Dawes were each given one by the Raindrop Sisters in Prelude to Foundation. Mycogen. Yep. The opening part of Forward the Foundation is named after a first minister of the Galactic Empire. What's it called? Ito de Merzel. Yep. The Encyclopedia Galactica describes a battle fought in year 377 of the Foundation era as the last one of consequence during the interregnum. Which battle? The Great Sack. Uh, Coriston. What is the name of Harry Seldon's granddaughter who devotes herself to her grandfather's psychohistory project as he grows old? Wanda. Yep. The Galactic Library is on a planet that was once the capital of the largest empire in history and at its height was home to a city of over 40 billion people. Which planet? Trantor. Yep. With what musical instrument does Magnifico play the tune that kills the crown prince of Neo Tranter in Foundation and Empire? A Visi Sonar. Yep, in Foundation and Earth, what position does Mitsai Lizalop hold in the government of Comporellon? Minister of Transport. Yep, in Foundation's Edge, Trevise and Compor discuss the fact that the original uncompleted version of the Encyclopedia Galactica is housed in a museum named after a former mayor of Termina City. Which museum? Salvor Hardin Museum. That is correct. Just one pass. The empire that stretches from one end to the other of the galaxy, the galaxy is the Milky Way. <laughs> Which you knew, obviously. Yeah, I know, weird, isn't it? <laughs> First question, the black chair, all that. Anyway, Ian, you've also got 12 points. <laughs> and our final contender, please. And your name is? Philip Isaac. Your occupation? Tutor. And your chosen subject? Some mothers do have them. In two minutes, starting now, in the 70s sitcom, Michael Crawford stars as Frank Spencer. Who is credited as the sole writer, although Crawford provided some storylines? Raymond Allen. Yes, which composer wrote the theme music for Some Others Do Have Them? He used piccolos to spell out the programme title in Morse code. Rodney Hazelwood. No, Ronnie Hazelhurst. What is the name of the Spencer's dog that Frank takes in after it follows him home from the Golden Star Takeaway? 
Colombo. Yep. When the employment officer, Mr Bradshaw, asks Frank about his education qualifications, Frank responds that his only certificate is for swimming 25 yards using which stroke? Breath. Yes, in the hospital visit, which actress plays Judy the Greengrocer, who tells Frank, you can't have six grapes, Mr Spencer, we don't sell them separately. Elizabeth Sladen. Yep, Frank's grandfather, played by Dick Bentley, wants him to take flying lessons and return with him to Australia to run what type of farm? Sheep. Yep, in Father's Clinic, Frank is out of control on roller skates. What does he shout out to Betty as he ducks and passes under a lorry? I've been articulated. Yes. Which television and radio personality interviews Frank and Betty after Frank is nominated for the DIY Man About the Home Award? Dave Dacom. Yep. In Learning to Drive, Mr Finney is the exasperated driving instructor from which school of motoring? Never say die. Yes. Frank is rejected as Joseph in the Nativity play because he was late on stage the previous year when the donkey did a whoopsie. What part is he asked to play at the last minute after Miss Pilby has taken ill? The Angel. Yes, the Angel of the Lord. What is the name of Frank and Betty's daughter who is born at the end of the second series? Jessica. Yep. When the Spencers visit the high-tech home of Betty's brother, Frank blocks the toilet with the head of a toilet brush. What does Betty think the brush is when she sees it? Hedgehog. Yes. In the episode Cliffhanger, after Frank accidentally reverses a borrowed car onto a cliff edge, he tells Betty that he needs to reduce the car's weight by releasing what from the boot? Bag fertilizer. Yep. How much money does the assessor for the Deep Pocket Insurance Company, played by Richard Wilson, offer the Spencers for their furniture after most of it is damaged in a house move? Forty pounds. Forty pounds is exactly right. And Philip, you have taken the lead with thirteen points. Close round that was. Let's have a look at all the scores. Joint second place, 12 points apiece. Michael, Sarah and Ian. First place, 13 points. Philip. <laughs> so it is the general knowledge round now. And if there's a tie at the end of it, then the number of passes is taken into account and the person with the fewer passes is the winner. And if they are tied on passes as well, there has to be a tie break. So let's get on with it and ask Michael to join us again, please. As with nearly all the others, you start out with 12 points, Michael, and you have two and a half minutes of general knowledge. Here we go. What method of cooking an egg involves cracking it into simmering water? Boiling. Poaching. Poaching. The inhabitants of which capital city are known as habaneros? Uh... Uh, Havana. Yes. Which artist portrait of his mother is properly called Arrangement in Grey and Black Number One? Whistler. Yep. What word for an unopened flower or leaf can also be applied to the rudimentary horn of an animal? Bud. Yes. What cabinet post was held by Tony Crossland during James Callaghan's administration? He died in office in February 1977 and was succeeded by David Owen. Chancellor of Exchequer. Foreign Secretary. The word ninja adopted into pop culture in the late 1980s comes from a martial art tradition belonging to which country? Japan. Yes. Which Liverpool-born author has written several novels with an historical background including Every Man for Himself, set on board the Titanic, and Master Georgie, set in the Crimean War? Pass. On which temperature scale is the difference between the normal boiling and freezing points of water 180 degrees with the freezing point at 32 degrees? Kelvin? Fahrenheit. What rocky island in Mount Bay off the south coast of Cornwall was the home of the giant Cormoran in Celtic legend? Uh, pass. One of the first works of which newly appointed poet laureate was owed on the death of the Duke of Wellington? Uh, what's worth? Tennyson. In 1993, Kim Campbell became the first female Prime Minister of which Commonwealth country? New Zealand. Canada. Ah. Which Mexican revolutionary gave his name to the type of bushy, down-curving moustache that was fashionable in the late 1960s? Zapata. Yes. What was the single-letter title of the 1980s television science fiction series in which the Earth was taken over by Nazi-like lizards from outer space? V. Yep. What football stadium is the home of Real Madrid? It was originally known as the Nuevo Stadio Chamartin and renamed in 1955 after a former player and club president. Bernabeu. Yes. What 1971 film was the first to be directed by Clint Eastwood? He also starred in it as the DJ Dave Garber. 
play misty for me. Yes. What name that comes from the Yiddish for ring is given to a firm donut-shaped bread roll that is boiled before it's baked? Bagel? Yep. What was the name of the British Foreign Secretary who said in August 1914, the lamps are going out all over Europe, we shall not see them lit again in our lifetime? Lord Acton? Grey, Sir Edward Grey. The Spanish-born composer and conductor Pablo Casals was best known as a virtuoso on which stringed instrument? Cello. Yes. Which Roman emperor attributed his conversion to Christianity to divine visions he had before the Battle of Milvian Bridge in 312? Constantine. Yes, Constantine the Great. You had uh, two passes. Michael's Mount is the name of that uh, rocky island in Mount's oh. Bay. Oh. And uh, Beryl Bainbridge wrote oh, yeah. uh, Every Man for Himself, etc. Right. You have scored, Michael, 23 points. <laughs> yeah. 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 And now, Sarah, again, please. And uh, you two start out with 12, the score to be 23 points. Here we go. Which disaster began on the 2nd of September 1666 in a baker's shop in Pudding Lane? Fire of London. Yep, on which Mediterranean island is the Maravon Palace, the summer residence of the Spanish royal family? Corsica. Mallorca. What is the name of the bumbling prison warder played by Brian Wilde in the television series Porridge? Grimes. Mr. Barraclough, the male of which common American songbird has a crested head and bright red plumage? Eagle. The Cardinal. Which Australian-born artist was famous for his paintings inspired by his native country's history, as well as his stage designs, especially for the Royal Opera House? Cook. Sidney Nolan, which glass and iron building was designed to house the Great Exhibition of 1851 in Hyde Park? Crystal Palace. Yes. The Sally Lunn is a type of tea cake particularly associated with which English city? Bath. Yep. Which 19th century American author is often credited with the creation of the first modern detective novel with The Murders in the Rue Morgue, published first in 1841? Poe. Yes. Va Penserio, also known in English as The Chorus of the Hebrew Slaves, comes from the third act of which opera by Verdi? Aida. Nabucco. By what stage name is the soul singer born Jocelyn Eve Stoker better known? She rose to fame with her 2003 debut album, The Soul Sessions. Aretha Franklin. Joss Stone. Ulitsa Arbat, with its cafes, souvenir shops and street musicians, is one of the most famous streets in which capital city? Washington. Moscow. What material, mainly used as a fastening, gets its name from an abbreviation of the French words for velvet and hooked? Velcro. Yes. The criteria that define whether a country is eligible to join the European Union are named after the capital city in which they were agreed in 1993. Which city? The Hague. Copenhagen. Who won a Best Actress Oscar for her role as the mute bride of a New Zealand landowner in the 1993 film The Piano? Holly Hunter. Yes. What was the number of the last of the Apollo missions to land men on the moon? 17. Yes. In tennis, who became the oldest man since Ken Rosewall in 1972 to win a Grand Slam singles title when he beat Rafael Nadal in the final of the 2017 Australian Open? Djokovic. Federer. The Pentland Hills extend in a southwesterly direction from the edge of which Scottish city? Edinburgh. Yep. Whose first book, The Gremlins, about a race of tiny people who live in RAF planes and cause all the troubles experienced by pilots is based on his wartime experiences as a fighter pilot? Roald Dahl. Roald Dahl is correct. No passes, Sarah. You've scored 21 points. Now, Ian, again, please. And uh, hardly worth reminding you what you've got, because everyone's got 12 up until this point. <laughs> 23 is, however, the score to beat. So, here we go, two and a half minutes. Which famous French heroine was burned at the stake in Rouen in May 1431? Joan of Arc. Yep. What is the name of the spin-off programme to Strictly Come Dancing, hosted by Zoe Ball, that features interviews and training footage of the couples competing in the main Saturday night show? After the waltz. It takes two. Who wrote the poem composed upon Westminster Bridge, September the 3rd, 1802, which begins with the line, Earth has not anything to show more fair? 
Thomas Gray. Wordsworth, what general term is given to the many species of scaly reptile that typically differ from snakes in that they have four legs, movable eyelids and external ear openings? Lizards. Yep. Hallux is the medical name for which of the toes? Big toe. Yeah. The 2008 book Monsters, How George Bush Saved the World and Other Tall Stories is by a cartoonist known for his grotesque portraits of politicians and other famous people. Which cartoonist? Gerald Scarf? Yes. Whose army gave Elvis Costello a UK number two hit in February 1979, his biggest UK singles chart success? Oliver's Army. Correct. Which work by Benjamin Britten illustrates the functions of various parts of the orchestra with variations on a theme of Purcell? Pass. What 12-sided coin ceased to be legal tender in Britain on the 31st of August 1971? Threatened a bit. Yep. What was the name of the Siberian peasant and mystic murdered in the St. Petersburg Palace of Prince Felix Yusupov in December 1916? Rasputin. Yes. In Greek mythology, who was the wife of the musician Orpheus? Eurydice. Yes. A chine is a term used in the Isle of Wight and certain south coast counties. For what geographical feature? A cliff. A valley. Tashkent is the capital of which former Soviet Republic in Central Asia? Moldova. Uzbekistan. The Dust That Falls From Dreams, first published in 2015, is the eighth novel by a British writer whose surname reflects his Huguenot ancestry. What's his name? Pass. Norman Tebbit told the 1981 Conservative Party conference in a speech made after the Brixton and Handsworth riots that his father, unemployed in the 30s, didn't riot. What did he say he did to find work? He got on his bike. He did. What is the title of the film in which Sylvester Stallone originally played John Rambo? First Blood. Yes, who retired from Formula One motor racing five days after he won the world title for the first time? Nico Rosberg. Yep. What word is used in North America to describe an undertaker or funeral director? Mortician. Yes, the words of the song about a celebrated Cumbrian huntsman were written by his friend John Woodcock Graves. What was the huntsman's name? John Barleycorn. Yeah, you'll be cross. It was John Peel. <laughs> uh, two passes. The Dust That Falls From Dreams was written by Louis de Benier. And The Young Person's Guide to the Orchestra. That was that uh, Benjamin Britten piece. You have, however, Ian, 24 points. <laughs> and finally, Philip again, please. And, Philip, you start out with 13 points. The score to beat now is 24, if you were to get through to the semi-finals. Two and a half minutes of general knowledge. Here we go. In which famous work of children's literature does the heroine meet the Cheshire Cat? Alice in Wonderland. Yes, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. In astrology, what name of Greek origin is given to a map of the heavens at the time of a person's birth from which their future can supposedly be predicted? Horoscope. Yes, the initials RSI stand for which injury caused by the overuse of an action such as typing on a keyboard? Repre repetitive strain injury. Yes. Which Australian state capital lies at the head of Port Phillip Bay at the mouth of the Yarra River? Sydney. Melbourne. What name is given to the juvenile stage of newly hatched insects before they undergo metamorphosis such as a caterpillar in the life cycle of a moth or butterfly? Pupa. Lava. What name is given to the full moon that falls nearest to the autumn equinox? Harvest. Yes, the flower duet comes from an opera by Delib, first performed in 1883. Which opera? Lacme. Yes, which band from East Sussex named themselves after a childhood babysitter and had their first UK chart entry in February 2004 with the number three hit Somewhere Only We Know? Keen. Yes. Richard Avedon and Helmut Newton were both leading exponents of which artistic field? Photography. Yes. The northern part of the main island of the Outer Hebrides is known as Lewis. What is the more hilly southern part known as? Path. The spicy varieties of sausage called salami originated in which country? Spain. Italy. The Archbishop of which province has the title Primate of All England? Canterbury. Yes. Which courtier of Dionysus of Syracuse is said to have been seated at a banquet with a sword suspended over his head by a single hair to show the transitory nature of power? Damocles. Yes. Who was shot and killed by Mark Chapman outside the Dakota building in New York on the 8th of December 1980? 
Lenin. Yes, which city near the Belgian border is the destination of an annual classic cycling race that starts north of Paris and is known as the Hell of the North because of its long stretches of cobblestones? Path. Seven Pillars of Wisdom is an account of the Arab revolt against the Turks during the First World War. Who wrote it and had to rewrite it after he lost the original manuscript on Reading Station? T. E. Lawrence. Yes. What does the German-British economist E. F. Schumacher say is beautiful in the title of his 1973 book where he questions the drive for ever-increasing growth? Path. The television series Our Friends in the North was mainly set in which city? Newcastle. Yes. How is the Affordable Care Act signed into law in America in March 2010 popularly known? Obamacare. Is correct. You uh, had three passes, Philip. One of them uh, was Small is Beautiful, the E.F. Schumacher book. That city that's known as the Hell of the North because of its long stretches of cobblestones is Roubaix. And the southern part of the Outer Hebrides is known as Harris. You have scored, Philip, 26 points. <laughs> Well, a nail biter to the end. Let's have a look at all the scores. In fourth place, 21 points, Sarah. Third place, 23 points, Michael. Second place, 24 points, Ian. First place, 26 points, Philip. Well done. <laughs> and that means, of course, but Philip is tonight's winner, and he goes through to the semi-finals. Congratulations to him. And if you would like to be a contender in the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, and you can follow us on Twitter, at mastermindquiz. And do join us again next time for more masterminds. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.